Terrence is reversing aging. On Joe Game Podcast. On Joe Game Podcast. Listen, Terrence been on a roll. He went on Joe Rogan cooking. Uh, 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 he's cooking. When I say cooking, I'm talking about he's talking. He talked about everything. From Earth. From space. From ocean. Health, heart, soul. The more you know. Now he said he got, he got the recipe for reversing age. Hey, listen, this. Let's, he said it, not me, but let's check it out. All this started in third grade. I was arguing with my teacher because we we're talking about the square root of 100. Oh, my God. So oh, your that, phone? Yeah, that's my um, detox thing. I'm supposed to detox right now. <laughs> <laughs> how, do you, how do you detox? You detox <laughs> on a timer? What do you do? There's uh, well, there alarm. My wife got me these things, you know, because I'm supposed to take this. What is that? And <laughs> pure body extract. And um, there's Advanced another one. Advanced daily cellular detox. What's in this? Oh, oh boy! I can and get this out my too. <laughs> What's in this stuff? Just things to counteract the natural met the metals that we have in our bodies that that wear us out. <laughs> and you just take these periodically. Yeah. Fun fact: we do have a lot of damn metals in our body. Like I'm talking about a lot, because then. Even those metals, they come from food, the air, everything. Like, a lot of food got a lot of metal in it. If you take a magnet and lit bro, this, bro, every, bro, the amount there is, and your body's not supposed to have that much metal, you know, you know, which could stop you from, um, how you call it, for your body being pure and, and healthy and, you know, Strong. So yeah, throw moving the middle is good. I gotta it's do a good it thing. Now. I gotta do it. Okay. Now. I take a dropper, part of that dropper, and then four sprays, and it it removes the parasites from your system, mm -hmm. like oil of oregano, like using oil of oregano instead of using um, um, antibiotics. And have you felt an effect? Yes. Yeah. What do you feel when you take well, this? Well, probably shit. <laughs> a I lot used to have really. Thick dark circles under my eyes. That's gone away in the last six months I've been using that. My skin, I'm 55 years old. I'm 55 years old and I smoke. Damn. This nigga look like he's in his late 30s. 50. What? I gotta start eating healthy and deep. I gotta cleanse in my, my body because. 50. Wow. Do I look like uh, I'm 55 No, you years don't. Old? You look Hell great. No. And you think that's because Eat of this? I think, well, I'm going to show you a picture of what I used to look like when my wife met me. And I don't know if you could... Shout out to his wife for putting in. <laughs> She'd be mad if I threw this up. But she's, <laughs> she's, 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 she's a beautiful one. But um, this is what I looked like when my wife met me. I was 256 pounds. Can you Were you in? eating differently? Um, I was, well, now I'm intermittent fasting. I follow her routine, but she mm. turned me from that. He, listen, Terrence was always smart because I seen the old footage of him like 20 something years ago, 30 years ago. He always been smart, smart, smart little buddy. But the spiritual thing he's going on right now is, lit, is I, I'm, I'm guessing his wife put him on. You know, once a female put you on to something, you start adapting. No, once you start being around a female for too long, start adapting to whatever they, 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 be, they be up to. Whatever they up to, whatever they be doing, whatever routine they are, you start adapting the same routine. So I'm guessing his wife is spiritual, hella spiritual then. And he know, or she's all herbal. That. Herbalistic. That's how you call it, herbalistic. Into this. It's like she shined up. Yeah, you look her. about 15 years younger. Now. Yeah. And that's because of her. I still yep. smoke my cigarettes. <laughs> Why do you do Cigarette that? Cigarette is crazy. 
I'm a crackhead. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't Everybody know. has to have some vice. Like Alan Watts said, uh, you've got to have some some balance of beneficence and, and rascality to you. We have a fan in here, by the way. If you want to smoke yeah, in here, no, you're more than welcome to. I don't trust people, you know, that walk around, oh, I'm just... People get so offended by gurus a lot of times and yogis because they think they're these calm and passive people. And when they get angry, they're like, oh, that, that, was, uh, that was a directed anger. That was, that was a purposeful anger to, to wake you up to something. They fr- and then they find out they have a girlfriend. <laughs> 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 they find out that they smoke and they're like, oh, Vices. this is a lie. Right. But that's the real person that's what i loved about alan watts he mm. had a wife and he had and he had his mistresses he ended up Nobody's dying perfect, with his, one of his, his girlfriend and his wife anybody that say they're perfect they are lying to you nobody's perfect you could try to be perfect you could you know you could you, this this is not you think as perfection bro it's Impossible, bro. It's literally impossible. Now, right? perfection. God, only God is perfect, bro. Like, yeah, yeah. It's not just as perfection, bro. See, in humans, nah. You know, often in his little place. But he spoke the truth. He was honest. Life is about the give and take. There's a balance in there. You, you gotta know? have balance. Yin and yang. To be human is to be flawed. It's to be beautiful. Yeah, it's part of the beauty of us. And it's part of the cre- why we create. I don't think you create from a, a perfect place of enlightenment. I think you, part of the chaos of being a human being is <laughs> the beauty of the creation. It's why, why we create. The most fucked up people, the best artists are some of the most fucked up people. My Psychopath. favorite musicians, mm-hmm. my favorite comedians, yep. my favorite actors. Yep. Almost all of them are fucked up. Yeah, my yeah. uncle used to call it, he said, if you you don't get any flour to grow unless you throw some shit on it. <laughs> Best quote I've ever heard in my life. You don't get any flour unless you throw some shit. Yo! He's right. He's right. He is right. Terrence. I like I like uh, the, you 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 promoting um, herbalistic and people cleansing in their body. We need that. People eat people eat too much uh, BS nowadays. Like the amount of BS I see people eat, I'm like, yo, bro, do you know this is like messing up your brain, your body? Most food nowadays is basically a hot alley hoop to giving you. It's an alley hoop to get to 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 getting getting cancer. So yeah, watch what you eat, watch what you put in your body, cleanse it, cleanse it, cleanse it, fast, fast, cleanse it, cleanse it. And I'm not saying you're gonna live for a long time, but you're gonna feel better, mentally, physically, everything. Um, on to the next.